Hey everybody, I'm back. It's High Priest 37. Normally I do readings during the day, but I'm feeling good right now. It's a little bit after midnight, and I just want to get this reading out for you guys. Thank you for all my supporters, all the people who've been watching. Continue to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll continue to put out good content. And we're going to start with the, the Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle cards. Let me shuffle these really quickly so we can get this wonderful reading started. And like I said, these are just oracle cards. I do like tarot, but I wanna I wanna learn more and I wanna be able to decipher the different cards and the different meanings better. So for now, I'm just doing the psychic messages with the oracle decks. Divine Spirit, can I get three good messages for the collective today? card out is oath. Let's see what else we can get. Divine Spirit, what other messages would you like for the collective to know? And the second card that came out was choices. Alright, let's let's pull one more card. And the next card that popped out is self-worth. So we have oath, choices, and self-worth. Choices and self-worth are pretty self-explanatory. Let me show you the cards. Here's the oath card. Here's choices. And then the last one we have is self-worth. I know what an oath is, but I actually want to read the book to give you the accurate definition of it. All right, so for oath, this says, my lovely child, you have chosen the symbol for oath. This is the symbol for all promises and is, and is a reminder to keep the ones you have made. An oath is never made lightly nor in just Promises are meant to be honored. When you choose this symbol, perhaps it's time you look at how you have made your promises. Have you crossed your fingers behind your back, relinquishing the magic that binds you to your oath? Has anyone broke his or her promise to you? Let the person go. Don't hold on it. Don't hold on if someone refuses to be honorable. You don't want this person in your life. For now, the most important promise you can make is to yourself. Promise to be kind, loving, honorable, and good. Do no harm. To belong to me, you must keep that promise. It's a pretty deep message. All right, now I'm gonna pick up the Moonology Oracle deck and get this reading started.
already have the feeling that this is going to be a great informative reading for all the people that are watching. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have bring love into the situation. And at the top of the deck, we have nothing will come of this situation. All right. Divine Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective today? So actually, I normally don't take this many cards, but we just had three pop out the gate. So we have confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. We have your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. And we have the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Like I said, I feel like this is going to be a really good reading because we have O choices, self worth, and the O card was basically just put put a lot, put more into yourself instead of trying to depend on the next person to get whatever you're trying to get. And you also have the choices card, and you have the self worth. And to start the reading, you have confidence is your key to success. Your hard work is paying off. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Let's see what else we could pull. What messages would you like for the collective to receive today? All right, we have two cards that popped out. We have show the world the real you. Prosperity lies ahead. Like I said, this is a it's a beautiful reading. Nothing is yet set in stone. Divine Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective today? All right. We have two cards that popped out. We have a new start is coming. It's time to release negativity. And I want to pull one more card for the overall energy of this reading. I'm not going to take that one because that card came out dramatically. Um, too many cards, so we're going to keep going. Can I get one more message for the overall energy of this reading? we have look at the bigger picture okay like I said this is a it's a great reading so like I said we have the oath card we have choices and we have self-worth so the way I'm reading this story is 
you had faith in yourself, you believed in yourself, you invested a lot in yourself, and you made that conscious choice to invest more in yourself instead of putting more into other people or relying on other people. And you also have the self-worth card, so you made a great decision. And it says confidence is your key to success, your hard work is paying off, and then the end of a tough cycle approaches. Show the world the real you, because prosperity lies ahead. But at the same time, nothing is yet set in stone, so you have you have to keep going, even though you might be seeing results of the hard work you've been putting in, whether that's into a project, a, a business, just anything positive, and you have a new start is coming, it's time to release negativity, and your commitment is being tested. Like I said, if you have this bright idea, you have this bright dream, this bright passion, don't let anybody or any negativity get in the way of it, because for the overall energy you have, look at the bigger picture. And the way these cars are aligned right now, every everything that you that you see, your vision is, everything is in a line right now. But at the same time, continue to release negativity. Don't hold on to anything that might set you back or stop you in your tracks. And earlier we had a, a new start is coming too, so I've been getting that car a lot lately. Also, show the world the real you. So, don't be afraid to be yourself. Don't, don't try to be something that you're not. Just keep continuing on the path that you're going on. And before I end this reading, I wanna wrap it up with these wonderful angel messages. Like I said, I like, I like all the decks, honestly, but these angel messages, I just get a different vibe when I read them. So we're gonna get three good messages to wrap up this reading. Spirit, can I get three good messages for the collective today to wrap up this reading? All right, the first card that came out is unlikely. I do not know what that means, but we're going to pull a few more cards. Divine Spirit, what other messages do you, okay. The second card that popped up, popped up pretty quick, we have Trust. I think some of these cards are mixed up, but we're gonna fix that. All right, Divine Spirit, can I get one more angel message for this reading? Way too many cards. Spirit. Can I get one more message for the collective? Right. And communicate clearly. So we have unlikely, we have trust and communicate clearly. So the way I read that is if if you don't if you don't bring trust into the situation and you don't communicate clearly what you want then whatever, you, whatever you're whatever you trying to obtain is highly unlikely if you do not bring trust into the situation and if you do not communicate clearly your ideas, your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings. And I wanna, and I wanna wrap it up with these cards that me and my divine feminine made, just different messages, just to guide you along your spiritual path, your spiritual journey. Divine Spirit, can I get three messages to wrap up this reading for the collective? All right, we have two falling out. Okay, that's three cards. It's pretty quick. So the first card we have is take action to tame your shadow energy. I actually got this card early. That's, that's interesting. We have do not let people block your light. You're a star in the making. 
And also the last card we have is you are in your power at this time, divine feminine, divine masculine. Like I said, I had a good feeling about this reading, just the overall energy and all of it, all of us align, all of it makes sense. Like I said, whatever you're doing, keep on that same path. Don't let anybody distract you because there's a lot of people out there that don't have the same dream as you. They don't have the same vision as you and they don't want to see you accomplish those things or do better than them but at the end of the day it's it's not a competition it's not a race everybody has their own path and the quicker you focus on your own path you'll you'll go a whole lot farther in life instead of worrying about the next person's path because everybody's journey is different and that's how i'm going to end the reading today like comment share subscribe and thank you guys for tuning in